the next week he called me up crying. He said, nobody ever took care of me like you did while you were down here in my life. And this, he was, you know, 68, 69 years old, but an old, looked much older than his years. He went from three in a day to three in a year. Now, this sounds like an infomercial. I've, I've, no, no, it's no, not. I, I mean, no, it's, but that's first okay. right, right. not a scientific study. Right. That's why I told you about my personal experience. I, I did ask for a scientific study. But but the only thing about the scientific study, y- you could have your point of view about eating meat right. and have a thousand scientific studies, and then I could have my it's thousand. Like, it's like Lewis, it's it's like like Lewis Black okay. says. But here's, milk, here's, here's no, no, wait, wait, wait. It's like Lewis Black that's said. Why, is milk good for you or is milk bad for but, you? <laughs> But here's what I was saying. Can you. I ask you? Oh, no, well, Steve, I know Steve, Steve are you happy? <laughs> yes, you're happy. You're happy. Much guy. happier. Andrew, are you happy? Yeah. Only when I'm eating a steak. Are oh, you a marriage counselor? <laughs> no, no, no. no. But my <laughs> point is, my point is, is that yeah. there can the, nobody, nobody is going to ever get any help <laughs> by people. You know, it's a, it's a program of attraction, not promotion. Of course. So you walk around, you look good, you work out four or five. You know, thank you, Judah. Judah. Day. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Andrew, you walk around in a gay way. You know, you have a nice. You know, you have certain niceties. You have a good life. Of course. So that's attraction too. So that's the thing is you get to choose. You know, do I want right. to? It's, I it's got, li- can I, libertarian idealism. You know, it's li- yes, it is, and it's like live how you want to live. I I totally agree, but I think we are clouded in our thinking from the eighty thousand commercials we see, and all the messages we have from growing up. Uh, the fact that uh, you know people pass away and then uh, sitting shiva or going to wakes or memorial services and afterwards they're eating the foods that got the people that they're uh, grieving dead in the first place and it's where our society is so off base in our thinking I'm not I'd love to be a program of attraction hopefully I am uh, but we are so warped in general I do think our government is looks the other way they want people to be happy and gorge and times are tough and have a good time and they don't want to say you can't have this you can't have this in our food the fat level is too high and they sell us out to a degree and the diet industry sells us out and i i'm tired of watching people being sold but, out so it's almost like you're, what, what you're it's saying not, is it's, it's not everybody so else's fault that's well, what you're sort of well, saying. No, the gov- saying the government it's the government's no, fault. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. But I we're think gonna, they, we, wait, hold on, guys. We're going to yeah. take a quick break. I'd like people to call in. It's 877-8830-830. It's 877-8830-830. Call us on Clean Radio, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Night, not a sound from the pavement has the All right, welcome back to Clean Radio. We're coming down to uh, our final minutes for the trivia question. So uh, if you're out there and you know the answer to who our past guest was, that whose favorite artist was Barbara Streisand, call 87778. Um, <laughs> no, that's wrong. 877-8830-830. Eight, seven, seven, eight, 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 it's 877. Eight, seven, got to give it with the flow. All right, you do the flow. 877-8830-830. Eight, seven, seven, eight, eight, thirty, eight, thirty. Hey, hey that Andrew. Flow, yeah. What's that smell? It's Do you smell that? That's cigarettes. It's cigarettes. It smells like it's from, smell that. cigarettes. From our, from our. <laughs> <laughs> That's Judah. He's a healthy eater, but he smokes. But I smell a steak on you. Um, the physician. Oh, jeez. <laughs> who will live longer in your uh, expectations of? Who wait the, the, the smoker guy who eats the steak, steak or the guy uh, the steak guy will live longer? See, huh? there no, you go. I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm on your side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, wouldn't it matter how much of each you're? Uh, yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, it, it depends on the proportion. And let's be real, both of us are doing a lot of it. <laughs> 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 there is no moderation with my smoking well, or Andrew's eating of steaks. I mean, let's be honest. To answer your question, sure. I'm not. I'm not uh, <laughs> suggesting a diet. I'm, I'm it's almost like by default. It's like I think organically what we're made for. You know, yes, less. Let's say your heritage and many generations were, you know, raised on meat. Steak eaters. Steak yeah. eaters. Uh, You're really proud of that. Ma- part maybe of I am. Yeah, it was once okay, in a while you had a steak. The, what about the paleo diet? 
Have you guys heard about this? No. So the a, paleo diet's this big thing going like, on right now, where where bison. And you you go back to the primitive days when man. What is that music? Where yeah. man, it's, man. It's the it's the funeral music. I know. Right? <laughs> Are we giving oh. up something right now? Yeah. Uh, man ate steak. I'm gonna do this to the music. Man <laughs> ate steak many many years ago. <laughs> It was a very primitive time. Sounds like a lounge singer that ran out of songs. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, but okay, the, 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 that diet is, look at the, the prehistoric guys, the cavemen. It's the caveman diet, right. basically. They Started ate meat. meat. They, they chased How things and know? they ate it. I, right, so and, we have that, fossil and that's because that's, right. that that's become this the stones. Old Testament for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's written down. Yeah, it's written. Come on, if we're going to quote it enough. Let's <laughs> quote what they ate. <laughs> <laughs> let's look at what they took in. Let's look what Noah took in his uh in the uh into the. Why can't I think <laughs> of it right now? It's called an ark. And into the ark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. animals. <laughs> the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> the refrigerator. Right. That's what it was. A big refrigerator. Noah took. But that was. But Andrew, that would be the that would. Support your theory, theory about the steak. I know, and that's what some people. So look right. it up, paleo diet, and that's a theory, and it's scientific. But and there's, there is, there are research studies and on it's, the diet, and it's not but a it's case spun example. Out of control. It's like, look at the uh, incidence of uh, heart issues and strokes, and yeah. But a lot of these illnesses have become since, secondary uh, to. Hold on a second. A lot food. of, a lot of, like a lot of car cardiology has gotten better. And so now we're having these new illnesses like uh, vascular dementia of the brain, mm -hmm. which we didn't used to see in the quantities we, we do now. But that's because cardiology has done so well. So we're able to fix the heart fairly well, but we, you know, well, people are living longer, and then we're seeing these other types of illnesses that relate we, we to heal vascularity. We heal from the inside out. You don't even need a cardiologist to heal. See, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm a, I'm a big believer in science and medicine, so... You know. And you guys can well, agree to disagree. And I yeah. have, you know, I respect Steve for uh, sharing his, uh, you know, it's not easy thinking the way he does. Jim Fix, right? Yeah, no, 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 Jim no, Fix. Did you say it's not easy? <laughs> no, I mean, it, you know, well, I, he's I, in a room with a steak eater and a smoker right? <laughs> and a gorgeous looking doctor. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Yeah. Now I'm really doubting the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I haven't told you that. Yeah. Yeah. We just got that on tape. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and you're coming. You know, you're, but you wouldn't date a smoker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta draw a steak eater. What about so a big eater? There were many eater. other jokes that could have said there, but I didn't go there. Uh, so, but uh, <laughs> before the break, though, it seemed like you had almost this conspiracy theory that yes, you know, yes, that do. all these external factors are compiling against people, yes, so that do. they become 100%. They're, they're, so uh, that they're just like <laughs> morally in corrupt industry, and, yes, and yes. incapable of being an individual and uh, you know making their own decisions. Oh no, no, you have to make your own decisions. Brainwashed into but you, you into do fatness have, and we have and, an and unhealthiness. We have an onslaught of advertising, even if we don't have a TV, just driving by billboards and buses uh, uh, coming at us of foods that... Do you know what one of the largest areas of the growth of medicine is? Sports medicine. Yeah. People having injuries from exercise. Hey, you want to hear something? <laughs> I'll tell you, I pull a muscle. I got right? in shape, I pulled a muscle. Impinge right? rotator cuff. Uh -huh. When I was overweight, I never pulled a muscle. You never hear people overweight going, I just pulled my flab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my flab <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you for proving my point. Yeah, I did. Yeah. First of all, my wife is yeah. very bony, so if I didn't have a little fat on me, it would just be too painful in bed. I just have to, I have to put that on the record. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for the visual. Yeah, you, thank you, you very gotta much. Have, you got to have someone with some questions. But you know, the world Sandra <laughs> actually eats in bed. The world's I do. The, the number Candy, one preferably. You know. Valent, it's Dr. Va I believe it's Valentin Futin or Fustin. He's the number one cardiologist in the world, and I saw him speak recently. Actually, how, how do you become I the number one cardiologist in the world? I don't like, know. Do all the cardiologists get together? And <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, you. it's a Japanese. <laughs> it's it one of those a, Japanese <laughs> shows. They line them up. <laughs> I did a reality <laughs> cardiology reality show. show. I did a, a corporate event. <laughs> I saved ten out of ten. <laughs> I did a, cor a corporate event at Mount Sinai Hospital <laughs> fundraiser right. Yes. Right. for the heart lab, uh, and uh, he spoke there. And he said, "You number one way to uh, eliminate, uh, you know, heart attacks: have your chest in front of your stomach." Okay, we're it's never going to eliminate heart attacks. We're also oh, no, but there's so we, many different. We also are running guys. out of time, yes. so let's thank our guests uh, for coming in. We have Dr. Reef Kareem. 
Thanks for having me. Yeah. And one more plug for your center yeah, so in West Hollywood? It's called the Control Center for Addictions. Uh, the website is thecontrolcenter.org. And I look forward to coming by. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, come by, check it out. Yeah. And, che and checking in. Yeah. And can, um, I, can I plug something? <laughs> yes, Absolutely. of course. We like treat steak eaters. A, a, docu our, a documentary. DunkinDonuts.com. This <laughs> 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 documentary is called Forks Over Knives. And it's Forks coming out knives. on May 6th. And it's really remarkable. Where can people find it? It's going to be a, a lot of theaters. Okay, Forks yeah. Over Knives. Oh, forks excellent. Over Knives. Phenomenal. Well, okay. thank you so much for coming yeah. and being such a good sport. Thank yeah. you. I'd like to be really another time. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, we absolutely. Love that. Well, uh, thank you for listening to Clean Radio. We'll be back next Sunday from 10 to midnight. Um, and I, ho I hope you enjoyed our engaging show. <laughs> and uh, we'll have another great show next week. Eat well. <laughs> <laughs> Eat yes. well. Check us out on uh, cleanradio.com for who's coming next week as well. Have a good night. Stars now in the dope show. Lots of free.